As we come to day three, the final day of our time of prayer and fasting, we've been considering shaken but unshaken. That everything that can be shaken in this world will be, but we know we are inheriting an eternal kingdom. And we've been looking at the various means by which we need to approach how we do life in this moment. And one of the things that we learned that even when things are shaking, God still calls us to do certain things. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, 4 through 6 speaks to this. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the path of the wind or how the body is formed in a mother's womb. So you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. Sow your seed in the morning, and at evening let not your hands be idle, for you do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, or whether both would do equally well. You see, a farmer is always looking for the ideal moment to sow those seeds. As soon as the the snow stops and things dry out and it begins to warm up, the farmer is considering those ideal moments to put his seed in the ground, and yet rarely... Is it ever ideal? It's rarely perfect. A fisherman is not just waiting for beautiful blue skies and perfect weathers to to, to put out his boat and to go out and fish. Likewise, builders. Builders are, again, looking for ideal conditions when perhaps two by fours don't cost five dollars a piece. And yet, they're builders. Builders build regardless of the conditions. And God has called us to do all three things, to fish to sow, to build. And regardless of the conditions around us, regardless of the voices around us, regardless of if everything seems to be wrong, the admonition is, go do it. Sow your seed in the morning. And let me tell you, like Isaac sowed in a time of famine, as we sow, as we plant, and as we fish, even in the moment, even in these uncertain times, God himself will bring the increase. Saints, thank you so much for joining us in this time of prayer and fasting. Trust God has met you in a tremendous way.